Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to another video. In this week's video, I'm sharing with you some clips and insights from a normal, ordinary week in my life. We've got puppy content, decorating for fall, and a whole lot more, but first, let's roll the intro. to my channel, I share my journey of transformation by embracing reality. And one of my favorite ways to do that is by sharing clips of my normal everyday life, as well as sharing insights that I've gained along the way through life experiences and tools and therapy. If you enjoy this video and want to see more content of a similar nature, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to be part of the process. Without further ado, let's get into the rest of the week and I'll catch up with you at the end. Happy Saturday, everyone. As you can see, I spent the beginning part of this day playing with Charlie and doing training. This is now a daily ritual for us. We had a family event that day, so I went to the gym first and then came home to get some work done later that evening. Because Charlie is so little, I have to stay home with him for the first few weeks. So I just live streamed the church service today and spent some time working on my bullet journal layout and planning for the upcoming week. As I was filling out my schedule with events and deadlines for the coming week, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. I've recently been sick almost back to back with the flu and then a cold, so the work I've had to do and get done has piled up quickly. Some of the projects that I'm working on, especially with real estate investing, represent a significant financial stake, so I can't procrastinate on those things past a certain point of necessity. As I've been on this journey to transform my life by embracing reality, I'm more in the habit of being present in any given moment in time, and while filling out my schedule, I had a moment of clarity and gratitude. There was a time in my life not too long ago when I was completely spent, burnt out, no energy, and like I'd lost my personality somewhere along the way. Everything in my life was upside down and seemed out of control, and the chaos was creating debilitating stress. Fast forward to today, and even though the mounting to-dos and deadlines were causing me to feel a bit overwhelmed, I also experienced tremendous gratitude. I'm busy by my own choice now. I have a lot to do, but within the confines of healthy boundaries and within healthy professional relationships. I'm busy because I'm pursuing things that are truly representative of who I am. And that's the best kind of overwhelm that I could imagine. If that's something you're looking for, consider checking out my previous video in which I talk about how I learned to be myself and how that's changed my life so much for the better. Today, my husband and I headed out to the town center for some coffee and to get him fitted for some new suits for some upcoming job interviews. We had a great time enjoying the beautiful Texas weather and the pumpkin flavored beverages.
As a quick update, Charlie is doing amazing at his training and learning to settle himself down in his crate whenever I'm busy or on work calls or getting things done around the house. He's an avid chewer, but thankfully is under supervision about 100% of the time, so he can't really get into too much trouble. The break in the weather has been amazing, and even though it's still in the low 90s or high 80s, this feels like fall for us. I didn't used to be such a big fan of decorating for fall, but ever since living in Washington State, the cozy colors and warm vibes bring a lot of happiness to my soul. Speaking of embracing reality, it's been a bittersweet experience to have such a sweet young puppy around to train and help raise up into a well-behaved companion dog, but then on the other side to see my dog Sammy getting older and older every day. I have a lot of new memories to treasure, but I also treasure the old ones with Sammy as well. With so much going on this week, it's such a privilege to take time out of my schedule to exercise and move my body, as well as to make preparations for the rest of the week to go as smoothly as possible. In case you haven't met him yet, this is Chandler. I've posted a few photos of him on my Instagram account, but he is my best buddy. Whether it's during work or at night curling up beside me, he has been a constant companion the last few years. That's it for this week. I apologize for the missing footage. I always used to wonder why YouTubers would lose content and now I know why. I do these videos about once a month, so feel free to go check out the ones from August. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.